Hey everyone, this is a short video to explain a bit more how GitHub Copilot Chat inline and agents work in Visual Studio Code. These are two different features that we're going to tackle today. Uh, and for that, I'm going actually to start coding with Copilot. So I'm going to create a prompt here to implement, uh, let's say, bubble sort, right? Let's go. Uh, and when I press return, Copilot brings to me more uh, more comments, and that's not what I want. So I always like to keep on the top when I do demos for customers, single specific short. Try to keep your prompts like that. And when Copilot does things like that, start typing what you want to do. So here I want a function, and the moment I actually accept the suggestions that Copilot gave to me, Copilot understands, okay, that's what, what, what I have to provide. Cool. Now I have this code here. And as you might know, bubble sort has not the greatest complexity in the world, which actually it's a pretty bad complexity. So let's see if Copilot chat can suggest a better algo. For that, I'm going to select this code here and I'm going to open Copilot chat inline. So when I press command I on Mac and uh, control I on Windows, it's going to open a Copilot chat inline prompt. And this prompt is going to take the selected code as the context. So if I type here, implement a better algo, I expect Copilot chat to bring, to bring to me a better implementation of it. And here it comes. It's bringing to me quick sort, which definitely has a better uh, performance than bubble sort. And I can come here and fix the comment. And here we go. So that's how Copilot chat inline works. All right, now let's say I want to go further and I want to use a specific prompt with Copilot chat to improve the code quality of my code. I'm going to use Copilot chat, yes, but I'm also going to use a new feature that's called agents. This is a Visual Studio Code feature paired with Copilot that helps you to interact with certain areas where a Copilot is an expert about. That's how actually agents are defined, like experts and specialties that you can interact with. There are two of these agents available. So one is Visual Studio Code and other is Workspace. So I can actually select one of them that I want to interact with and I should have my context aligned with these specialties. All right, so let's ask Copilot Chat to suggest uh, code quality improvements. And because I have only index.js file open here, that's the only context that it's going to take. So I can see it using one single reference. But in this project, uh, I also have uh, another folder which contains a geometry class, which is a .NET, uh, a .NET class that's used by my program to, to do some operations with uh, dots and points. And what I'm going to do is uh, ask Copilot Chat to help me to improve the, the whole workspace, other files in my workspace. So let's close that so we have like the same context. Uh, but I'm also going to ask the workspace specialty. Uh, and I'm going to ask the same question. How suggest me code quality improvements? So what I expect Copilot Chat to do now is to take in consideration the whole workspace. So I can see that now it's taking into consideration three references. And it's again explaining to me how I can improve quick sort, which is great. It's part of my workspace. But also it's going to explain to me how I can actually improve geometry.cs and tell me how, how I can actually do some code quality improvements here. All right, now let's see how at workspace agent performs in an already existing application. So I have here a Gatsby starter minimal blog uh, framework. So let's say I want to add a post to this new blog application that I'm working on. Uh, and I'm going to use the workspace for that. Uh, so let's ask and I add a blog post to this application. And here, what I expect to happen is, again, as using multiple references, so Copilot Chat is doing that, using multiple reference, and it's going here, I can see it's starting already to outline to me what are all the steps that I can do to create a new blog post, which is pretty cool. So there is content, um, yeah, all the steps are here. Other thing that I can do, I want to actually to run this application locally. And I needed the command to do that on my command prompt here. Uh, I can use workspace with slash command. So I can use here slash terminal, for example, and ask, uh, how can I run this application? And because now I combining it with slash commands, it is going to give me like terminal, uh, terminal commands that I can actually go ahead and copy to my right, uh, to my right side and start executing them. 
Let's take a look at a bit more complex scenario. So I have here a Java application, uh, which is a Spring Boot uh, Java backend. Um, and what I want to do here is to implement a new feature. So I'm going to actually ask uh, Copilot Chat to take into consideration my whole workspace. And I'm going to ask, how can I implement a REST API that calls the database of this application. And as you can see, this is a pet clinic. So there are many pets in this database. So I want to actually to implement a REST API that retrieves all the pets in this database. And if you're using Copilot Chat until now, you understand that you could ask questions related to the file, related to the context. Now, with the possibility of asking a and, and shooting a prompt against the whole workspace, Copilot Chat is going to determine what are the references that are most important and the context that is most important to be used. So you can actually bring you like relevant answers that cover like the whole application. So here you see it's mentioning to me what I would expect. It's using reference such as repository, which interacts with the database, the controller, which is going to be where the REST API is going to live and sit. And, and here it's going to be able to give to me like some, some hints and some indications on what are uh, where I should start my work. A base example of how I could do that. So this is a snippet that I can already use. And also it goes ahead and tells me, hey, you should use, you should implement this find all method in the repository. So that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you.